Hello, hello, hey, sweet people, and welcome to another episode of English no Kuruhachu. My name is Foster, still. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <And> glad. <laughs> I am still here with Alexia. the one, the only, Alexia. Hello. How are you doing, Alexia? I'm doing great. What about you? To be honest, <laughs> doing pretty shitty. Doing Literally pretty shitty. Literally pretty shitty. Literally figuratively, spiritually. So we are in day 2,547 of <laughs> the pandemic. I'm still oh, in the God. United States. Yeah. I am having some serious stomach problems. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Um, I don't have any stomach problems, so I'm okay. I can say that I'm okay, but I don't want to brag too much because you're not feeling good, so... It's okay. It's okay. We will make it through it. And we will do that by podcasting and more specifically about talking about different states in the U.S. <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do today. So today, Alexia, what state are we going to talk about? Well, we are going to talk about a state that a lot of you guys asked for on our Instagram, which is Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay, Alexia, I'm going to say a bad joke, and I want to see <laughs> if you understand it. I'm a dish. I'm a dish. Hey, Alexia. Uh-huh. You're the only 10 I see. Nah, I, of course I do understand it, because you're giving me the... 10, like number 10 as a, as a great, great, like, yeah, uh, exactly. I'm a 10 as a woman. So you are the only 10 that I see. Yeah. A lot of people made that joke when like we were little kids and like after like Trump, you know, rating women on a scale of one to 10, the joke hasn't aged well, but <laughs> I thought I was going to make it anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. You did it. Let's go through it. But speaking of Tennessee, Alexia, I think it would be a good place to start with you trying to spell Tennessee. Uh, uh, so how I do, do we know. write Tennessee? Okay. So T E double N E double S and double E. Exactly. So Tennessee has two N's. Two S's and four E's. Yeah. And one T. The one that I can't spell at all is Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts. Mat Massachusetts. Ma okay. We are not doing this one, so that's fine. <laughs> Today we're talking about Tennessee. <laughs> okay. So, Alexia, yesterday we talked about North Carolina, a state that has a special place in my heart. And I think Tennessee is right up there on the top of my list with North Carolina. I absolutely love Tennessee. I went to university in Tennessee. I've spent a lot of time there. It's a beautiful state. I'm excited to talk about it. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so first, what do you know about Tennessee? You've been there a few times. And what do you know? What do you think about it? Where have you been? So, I have two different um, experiences there. Um, the first one, it was to a wedding at your university campus, right? That it, we only went there for that. So, mm -hmm. from Tennessee at that time, I only knew your university campus. But on our way there, like driving by car, I saw that the nature is really different than the South Carolina, than South Carolina. Mm -hmm. and so just to get people an image, like geographically, Tennessee is west of North Carolina and north of Georgia. Does that make sense? Yeah. How long does it take to go from South to Tennessee, South Carolina to Tennessee, like five, seven hours, depending? It depends because it depends where you start in South Carolina and it depends on where you're going in Tennessee. So Tennessee is a very long state. So I think to go from 
Chattanooga, which is a city on the east of Tennessee, all the way to Memphis, which is a city in West Tennessee. I think it takes like eight or 10 hours by car yeah. in the same state. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh my God. Yeah. It can do like north and south. You can go twice north and south here in, in Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. The whole so country. Tennessee <laughs> geographically is bigger than the entire country of Portugal. It's crazy. So take that, Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and my second experience, it was when we went to visit your friends and we stayed at their apartment there and we went to Nashville mm -hmm. and we stayed like a week there, I think. And Nashville is so funny because... So funny. Yeah, because everything that you see on the movies, at the movies... In the movies. In the movies, it's true. Yeah, it's yeah. Nashville true. <laughs> lives up to the stereotype. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have those ladies walking around the city with their cowboy boots and uh, uh, shorts and their um, cowboy hats, and all the bars are going are doing live shows. Every single one. It's a very very happy city. Like, you see everyone having fun and going everywhere and laughing. It's really, really cool to walk around. Yeah. Nashville. Music City. Nash Vegas, baby. Yeah. And <laughs> we had a chance to go to the Grand Ole... Oh, can I follow me? Grand Ole Opry. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's not Ole. <laughs> Ole. <laughs> the Grand Ole Opry. Ole Opry. Yeah. Yeah. Ole is... O L E, and that's like a an old fashioned way to write old. So the Grand Ole ah. Opry is the Ryman Auditorium. That's one of the birthplaces of country music. It's probably the most famous music venue in the United States. It is also home to the oldest radio show in the U.S., which is amazing, and we could see there who was it the lumineers and what's his name again we saw a lot of people no I we know. went to but the, the, the one of the most Festival. important ones oh my god he's already old nowadays ah what's his name foster um, who did we see we saw someone famous that just came out and played one song Oh, okay. Okay. We recorded an episode about the Americana Festival. Yeah. <laughs> you can listen to that <laughs> if you're super interested. Okay. And so then we, have we went Nashville. to Sh Chattanooga. Yeah. Chatta. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Yeah. So this is a very common mistake that a lot of Brazilians and a lot of our students tend to make it is using the CH. A lot of people say sh, sh, but it's ch, ch, just like. Chiago, mm -hmm. Chatta, Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Perfect. Which has a really, really weird name as well, like C H A T A Chatta Nu N double O Nu G A. G A. Yeah. Yeah. Tennessee has a lot of <laughs> names that come from Native Americans, so they can be quite difficult for people to pronounce. Yeah. And what did you think about Chattanooga? I wish we could go back there because when we went there, it was extremely hot, remember? And we couldn't walk that much around because everything was more or less blocked because of the Ironman um, thing. Oh, yeah. They were having an Ironman competition, like a triathlon competition. Yeah. And it made me feel really lazy. <laughs> But it's beautiful. There is a river in the middle of it. Lots of things to do. Uh, lots of bars and restaurants. And people say that it's a like, really, really cool place to live as well. Yeah. Yeah. So to be honest, I know East Tennessee really well. But I've never been to West Tennessee. So I can't really speak for West Tennessee. But East Tennessee, you have some 
really impressive cities like Nashville, Knoxville, and Chattanooga. And in between those cities, you have some really poor areas in the United mm -hmm. States, but really, really beautiful places with beautiful people. Yeah. Do you remember um, when your uncle invited us to stay at his kind of cabin? And, I did. And then we were next to Tra Tracy City, mm -hmm. which is the um, math place, right? Yeah. Tracy City, which is in Grundy County. I don't know if still today it's like this, but when I was in university, it was infamously known as the meth capital of the world, which means a lot of people are taking meth in Tracy City. <laughs> <laughs> and selling and making, which is so dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I would not recommend it. Just watch Breaking Bad, <laughs> 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 which I've never actually watched. <laughs> Anyways, Alexia, do you know any famous people from... Tennessee? Um, yes, 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 yes. Justin Timberlake. I knew <laughs> that you were going to say that one. I believe Justin Timberlake is from Memphis originally. I think so as well. Which kind of pisses me off. Why? <laughs> I just remember when I was living in New York City that Justin Timberlake opened a new like franchise of a southern barbecue restaurant and it seemed really inauthentic and i was thinking man justin timberlake doesn't represent me <laughs> but nowadays jt is a little bit cooler than he's he awesome used to be. he's so cool i would love to go to his concert the last one that i went was at rock in rio 12 years ago i have no idea when was it and it was amazing amazing he's so cool <laughs> i used to think that he wanted to copy michael jackson a lot and i didn't like him that much but then i was like okay i can like him <laughs> <laughs> do you know of any other famous people from tennessee i probably do um maybe that um the voice one the um, the country singer Okay. Um, the voice, no, X Factor, no. The one that you have to turn. X Factor, right? I'm not sure who exactly you're referring um, to, but Tennessee has a lot of famous musicians. So, Taylor probably Swift? the most. Oh, yeah, Taylor Swift from Nashville. Um, there's a FedEx guy at our house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most famous, yeah, there are a lot of really famous musicians from Tennessee, but Aretha Franklin. Yes. Um, Dolly Parton. Okay, the, the, the queen of country music. Yeah. Some really famous actors like Morgan Freeman. One of the best voices in the world. He's so That's amazing. That's a southern voice. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. I like him as well. Yeah. So Tennessee has a lot of cool people coming from there. Is Tennessee considered the South? Oh, yeah. Okay. For sure. Tennessee is definitely 100% Southern. Redneck. Yeah. Yeah. Tennessee does have a lot of... A lot of parts of Tennessee would be considered redneck. That's for a different <laughs> conversation. But if, when we can travel again, if you have the chance to visit Tennessee, it's an amazing state. Um, I definitely recommend visiting Nashville. There's a lot more in Tennessee than just Nashville. It's so fun to but, go to Nashville. Yeah. Check it out. You guys will like it. Yes. Yes. Do it and then let us know. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So there you go, guys. Another day, another state. I think that's a good place to end it before my stomach does something <laughs> crazy on <Foster>. air. <laughs> and that's what we call losing well. Okay. Okay. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.